minute 43 left here in the third. A 32-yard punt gives Sprague first down and 10 at their own 45 as DeMunas drops back to pass. Looking for Peterson. The ball thrown behind. He waits for it at the 30, the 25, the 20, down the sidelines, and he goes out of bounds just inside the 15-yard line. Well, I want to tell you, I had a big smile on my face because that ball hung up there. The defender again is out there man to man. He does not see the quarterback. He does not see the ball thrown in the air. He has no idea what to do when the ball is in the air because he doesn't know when it's in the air or where it's going. He had plenty of opportunity if he was playing defense and looking back into the quarterback's eyes to find the ball, but he was completely lost and Peterson makes a great gain out of it. A 31-yard play down to the 14 of Marshall. Hand the ball off. The Olympians don't get into the end zone, but wipe out a Statesman Journal cameraman on the sideline down near about the goal line. Ouch, and he may have lost his uh, camera at Nike on his toast. A 12-yard pickup on the play for the Sprague Olympians. A ball carrier, 49, Mike Daniels, and it'll be first down and goal for Sprague down at about the two-yard line as the officials talking it over. Not sure who the cameraman is. Can't tell from this angle, but he's... Well, the big thing the about the play was how well it was run by Sprague. The cameraman, I hope he had the camera on got a picture <laughs> out of the deal because he got hurt because he was frozen out there. I think his eyes got big as saucers as he saw that back keeping coming right at him. Yep. Officials are calling timeout, I think, uh, to protect the uh, cameraman on the sideline. Yep. Yep. Uh, they may need to get the stretcher out there for him. But that was a well-run sweep play to the short side of the field by Sprague. They got a herd of people out there in front of it. And who was running back on that one? Mike Daniels. I thought that was Daniels. It was uh, one a person that hadn't been carrying it a whole lot, but he really got cranked up, turned up. He was trying to get into the end zone, and he got hit and knocked out just short of the end zone and right into the cameraman. As the Olympians on first down and goal at the two goes straight up the middle and they extend their lead to 34-0 as they go in on the touchdown. Scotty Nelson and Scotty Nelson. In. Right up over right guard. The offensive line moves that line of scrimmage back and uh, Sprague's Express continues to roll out here tonight as uh, this ball game has been all theirs except for some mistakes they made of their own penalty-wise. And in a punt that they had uh, fumbled here in the second half, that's about the only opportunities that they've given to Marshall here in this ballgame tonight. Bad snap. That's a bad snap, and Garlock's going to have to run for his life, throwing the ball towards the end zone. It's intercepted, and a penalty flag flies, and we'll have to wait for the officials to call this one. It's going to be holding against Sprague. It'll be declined, and so we'll take another 30-second break. So one moral victory for Marshall, but it's been all Oles in this one. 125 left in the third. It's Sprague now 34, and Marshall nothing back after a one-half minute timeout. As the ball carried the away game. by Southard, and for, is that the third or fourth time tonight, he's put that baby out of the end zone. Yeah, he's been, yeah, it looks like, looks like Bob Purdy's drive off the tee. Oh, boy. Straight up the middle. And a good win behind him. And Marshalls takes over once again at their own 24-yard, 20-yard uh, line, trailing at 34 to nothing. And we'll get some score updates at the end of this quarter from our own Paul Perkins. Well, Marshall uh, needs to find a way to move the football here in this possession. Uh, as the game has gone completely out of their control, let's see what they do. Pass. Nope. Trap play up Trap the middle. Trap play up the middle as they fumble the pass. And a fumble, and the Olympians oh, may have the football. We'll worse. wait for the officials. Only say they have it, and it is. It's Sprague football, second fumble of the night. And coming up with it, Chad had a Boyd quick, for the uh, Trap handoff up the middle, and it uh, looked like the quarterback was going to take it and bootleg out of there. He probably wishes he had now. As they ran the ball up the middle, they put it on the ground. Sprague recovers it right at the line of scrimmage. Uh, things are uh, getting rather ragged. Uh, well, I'm trying to find a kind word for this. Mm. It, it's unpleasant. Yes. It's an unpleasant situation. David Garlock in at quarterback now for the Olympians. They lead it 34-0. Going to give him some playing time. 
Number 13, point guard on the basketball team. Hand the ball off. Zach Newman spins away from one would-be tackler and then stood up. And he's going to be held to no loss. Fought real hard. Andrew Verbal Vanek by did Ronco you, makes the tackle. Did you say he's going to be held to no loss? No, to no gain. Said? I thought he said no gain. I thought, I, thought I said no gain. Oh, okay. Well, no gain, no pain. Here we go. That's right. So it'll be second and ten for the Oles at the Marshall 25-yard line. Sprague 34, Marshall zip. Well, that was just a straight-ahead hand up off up over the center, and Marshall stepped it up pretty good. Again, Garlock at center. Newman comes in motion. Hand the ball off this time. Give it oh, to Nelson up the middle of the field. Stiff arms heading for the end zone. Is that, uh, is that him? It is Nelson, or is that? No, it's not Nelson. It's Landon Ross for Landon the touchdown. Ross. Well, 25 that yards. Time they fooled him up as they had a little counter action. And the cornerback, he stood there and looked at him, and then he reached out an arm like he was going to wave him by, and that's about all he did as Ross made a good cut from left to right, pick up that touchdown. A 25-yard run for Landon Ross. And it was 27, not 37, thus the mix-up. And Southard on for another extra point. He's going to have to put a little... Cremo Jizik on that leg. He's been kicking so often, and he puts that one through and true. I think he's glad he's not down there as the ball carried by the Minutemen, a penalty flag in the vicinity of a hold. And into the ball game, Marcus Carter, who was a marquee player for the Minutemen, but has seen limited time lately, is run down by Wesley Porter and Chris Hill, who... In the ball game here, kind of the second teamers coming in. He got a good long run on the play of about 16 yards, but we got to wait to see now what the penalty flag is for. It's going to be, well, I couldn't see the signal. It's kind yeah, of a it's flop of his arm. I didn't see the signal either. It came flying out just after the ball was snapped. Came out from the uh, field judge in the back of the pack here. Okay. And yeah, is it going to decline the penalty and take yeah. the first down? Is yeah, yeah it must have been. Yeah, I, You know, I have to admit, I don't know what that signal is with the arm across the chest. And I've read my guide, but I, I don't I, see that one. I don't think that was heart pain or anything. No. It, yeah, that's, a penalty, uh, that's some kind of penalty. Timeout well, called by Sprague. They're going to talk it over. Hand off straight up the middle. N that's Newt Rasmussen, only his second carry of the night, and this one goes backwards. Well, well, he came like to the line of scrimmage and just got blown backwards as the swarming Olympian defense was all over him. And now the quarter runs out. And we will run out and play one more commercial spot and try to get some score updates in. Our score at the end of three. It's been all Olympian. Strike 41, Marshall nothing. Our in-studio producer is Paul Perkins as we get the score updates. And a, before Marshall can get the ball snapped, an illegal procedure call is made against Marshall. So we didn't lose anything there. Paul, good job running down all those scores. Well, and it appears, Mark, that we'll be right back here next week. That's the right. Sprague Olympians. And uh, the North looks Medford. like uh, McKay has got a game that they can pull out. So they're doing all right. South Albany seems to be all right. Uh, McNary's got a battle on their hands. they got to get cranked up. That's right. They're in the third quarter there. And on first down, or second down and 15, Marcus Carter with the football on the carry. He'll gain about three. He really high steps it out there. And he, and he was brought down by Kevin Hansen, first team all leaguer. And it'll be third down and about... 12 is a gain of three for Marcus Carter. Well, that was good, solid team defense by the Olympians as they ran a quick toss to the outside uh, that Marshall did. They wanted to get outside, but they could not. The outside linebacker and cornerback did a great job of turning everything back inside to the linebackers who pulled it down for no game. Fumble! As a ball fumbled by Carter, the Olympians going to get it. It looks like they will. The ball was actually mishandled by Rotman as they tried to hand the ball off. And I think Sprague is up on the football. We'll wait for the officials to make the call. Uh, it looks like maybe Marshall came up with it. Somehow, out of the pile for Marshall, 61, Andrew Verbovonik. 
Well, uh, yeah, I thought Sprague was all around it, but it must have slipped out of there. But in the handoff, the ball was pushed through the running back's stomach, came out the other side. I don't mean through his belly button <laughs> out his back, but from right to left, it went on through. And uh, fortunately for Marshall, they got on it. But they're going to have to punt the ball away here with 10.51 left and give the ball back uh, to Sprague, who hasn't taken much time to score on any of their possessions here in that second half. As the ball kicked away by Beeler, gets a nice long kick on it. Chris Hill is going to handle the ball at his own 37, comes straight up the field, and a face mask as he crossed the 40. That's one way to bring Chris Hill down. He is a tough man to tackle, but you grab him by the face mask and he'll go down. Dan Pewterbaugh made the tackle. I do believe is the pronunciation. Guy Morley always checking up on those pronunciations for me. And it'll be first down and 10 for the Oles in great field position. No, is this? no, they're gonna, no, they're gonna call a clip on the Oles. Oh, wow. I and don't know where that came from. I was watching the play. I didn't even see a block thrown by Sprague. But uh, my goodness, so oh gracious, the laundry has been on the field tonight. Yep, well, you know, and to be honest, Jerry, we've had the Corvallis officials when we were down at Crescent Valley in that South Salem game a few weeks ago. There were plenty of yellow hankies all over the field. Uh, I guess my point is that, and they may all be there as far as penalties, right. but uh, uh, sometimes you use judgment on the calls that you put down, because as they say, you can probably